Dr. Sella here, and Brian Newberry has just been named head football coach at Navy, which I'm, I knew there was a possibility of this because Chet Gladchuck, the athletic director at Navy, said this. I had a Navy donor tell me early in the week he had heard the same thing, and I had a Navy assistant tell one of my best friends the same thing. So, I, 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 and I, then I had a, a pow, um, an FBS assistant tell one of my friends the same thing. So, I'm not overly surprised. I gave it about a 20% chance. I really thought it would be Brian Bohannon, but that tells me that Kennesaw is going to pay Brian big money to stay. And that's good. Because in 2024, there will be four FBS triple option football programs. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Kennesaw. So Brian Newberry is the head coach at Navy. What does this mean? I'll tell you what it likely means. Likely means. It means that Ivan Jasper probably is the offensive coordinator again. If that happens, you're going to see Navy get better fast. So as much as I think Brian Bohannon would have been the best choice, um, maybe not. Because if Ivan's the offensive coordinator, things are going to get good fast. I will tell you this, and I want you to listen carefully. The number one influence on me as a triple option, whatever you want to call me, is Ivan Jasper. He has been the biggest influence in how I help people. So anything that helps Ivan is a real blessing. So Ivan being the OC is a real blessing. The other things it does is it's probably going to keep the staff in place. Now, I have a lot of dear friends there. And I'm glad because they keep their jobs. At least it appears to be that way. We shall see. But generally, a move that's made like this is done to maintain stability. Basically, Chet realized that Brian is one heck of a coach. And boy, Brian Newberry is one heck of a football coach. And he knows the defense is absolutely overperforming. And offensively, it obviously shows that he was disgusted with the deviations that Kenny had created with the offense. And he's not alone because I was absolutely freaking disgusted for years. Every time they'd get in the shotgun, I wanted to shoot the television. Every time. Because I, you know it doesn't work. You can't take a bunch of kids who are Division II level football players and try to get them to do Power 5 things. Can't do it. Can't do it. So hopefully that phase is over. But we shall see. So what I would say is I believe it'll, this will be a move that will lead to more wins in 2023 and beyond. I do believe Navy will get back to being a perennial bowl team. Navy will get back to being real good again. Now, the biggest concern I have is at some point, do, does Navy get comfortable again? And Coach Newberry says, maybe we need to try to run more of that spread stuff. Now, I don't know if that will happen. But that's always my concern. The number one thing I've learned about football coaches in all the years I've worked with coaches, I've worked with coaches in 45 states. Number one thing I've learned about football coaches is it all starts at the top and the head coach better be tough and he better be tougher than everybody else. Because when you got the top spot, you better be tougher than everybody else. So I look forward to seeing Coach Newberry. I heard he's a wonderful man. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if Ivan is going to be the OC. I'll be absolutely ecstatic if he is. And I'll be ecstatic if, if the staff is maintained because many of them have been dear friends of mine for decades. And I'm glad to see that they're going to be employed. So those are my thoughts. I'm Brian Newberry. What I believe it means is it means more wins for Navy. It also means that 
in 2024, there's going to be four FBS triple option programs that are under center, predominantly under center. Now, that's that. 